All right. Hey, gang. Jack Allaire here. Uh, we are continuing going through the Nintendo 64 collection uh, and deciding whether to keep the games or get rid of them. Uh, we are moving on to a game that I bought with an idea in my head of what it would be, and it turned out not to be that at all. Uh, it's Xena Warrior Princess, the Talisman of Fate. Continue. Licensed by Nintendo, is put out by Titus Games. It's Titus? That's Titus. I don't know. Now, when I got this game, I was thinking that it was going to be uh, an action game like Castlevania or uh, what were some of the other beat em ups? But, you know, the ones where you like fight down a little corridor. And I've done reviews of them before. And I just really liked... I liked those kinds of games. Obviously, I didn't like the Castlevania that we just got done with. That's more because that's not what I want from Castlevania. But from Xena game, I, if they would have called that game Xena and given me like a little... The, the chakras or whatever they are to throw, it would have been okay. But this is Xena Warrior Princess Talisman of Fate. And here was my first clue that something was going very wrong, which was that there was a versus mode. And there's roster practice options. Go to quest. And you can choose, uh, for those not familiar with the uh, show, which I loved, uh, I used to actually, in the military, I used to actually sneak up to uh, Stephanie's room. Uh, Stephanie was a female, was not allowed to be in there. So what I would do is I would uh, lay across her floor with one foot hanging out of the door so that I could watch Xena in her room because she was on the top floor and her antenna was pointed the right direction to be able to get it. Angelo, Texas. But, a little bit too much overshare. But we've got Xena. We've got Caesar, who you might be able to recognize who played him. And we've got Gabrielle. We've got Ephany, which looks uh, oddly familiar. Might have to look up who she was. Of course, Ares with the... I wish I could get my beard to do that, but it won't. I don't know why, but... Uh, Valeska, who I don't know. Callisto. Jockster, which I didn't know that's how you spell Jockster. Loma. Autolycus was placed by the played by Bruce Campbell and Random Human. Zena. So we'll go ahead and be Xena. Um, I don't know if I remember how to play. Fight. So I've got kick. <laughs> Trigger buttons are your jump. And there we won. There are those moves like that. is black. And there we won. The, I mean, the graphics aren't that bad. Um, 
this is before they put move list or anything. And yeah, your A and B buttons do nothing. Now. At least nothing I've been able to figure out. And it's true to the Hollywood sets in that some of it's not even there. Jockster. Jockster the mighty, he's a mighty hero. I'm not keeping this game. For fighting games, I've got I've got so many better games that I could be doing. how to do special moves. But I still won. Please. But this is basically the game. Fight. I mean, I'm... Yeah. I'm actually decent at the game. I'm not looking so good right now, but... But it's just not. It's uh, just, I'm not digging it at all. It goes back and forth Wins. between being really boring and just kind of uninspired. Because there are very few reasons why some of these characters would fight. I mean, I guess at all, at, it's a weird TV show, so at some point they've all fought each other. But, it's just, uh, no, not gonna, not gonna keep it, so I won't make you guys suffer anymore. Probably gonna lose this anyways, but... That is Xena, Warrior Princess, the Talisman of Fate. Five, four. Got him. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and uh, as always, Play on.